Turning up the radio for me in the car really loud. Oh my, what the heck? Are you serious? I know. I believe you, but now, like, how do you not believe you? I don't even know what to say right now. He is a clairvoyant best known for the series Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry. His new show, Life After Death on Netflix, was just nominated for a daytime Emmy. He's got a live tour, an evening of hope and healing. Will soon return to Southern California. Apparently, all he, he's doing everything you, humanly possible. <laughs> yeah. He has the power to do it. Yeah. Of all people, he can do it. So we welcome Tyler Henry into the studio. Thank you so much for taking time out to be with us tonight. Thank you so much. I wouldn't have missed it. I'm still working on the power of flight, but yeah. we're getting there. Okay, <laughs> slowly but surely. Uh, congratulations on your Emmy nomination for Life After Death. Thank you. How do you describe the show? You know, Life After Death was really a snapshot in time. It came off of the end of the pandemic, and it was at a time where there was some much outreach from people all across the United States who really desperately needed to connect and needed that validation in knowing that their loved ones were still with them. So we took it to the road. I was able to tra traverse the country, knock on people's doors across the south and the north, and, and really help surprise people with meaningful moments and readings that meant something, even beyond celebrity readings. So how does your mind work? So like right now, you're sitting here with us. Are you seeing stuff from us, from the energy, from other people in this room? How does it happen? Well, I do have a certain process that I go into as people see me scribble on the show. It's really a way of just kind of meditating and focusing. So when I'm not scribbling, I'm able to maintain some sense of normalcy. But as I begin that process, it kind of kicks my brain into an altered state of consciousness. And that's when information starts coming through. So if you were to give one of us a reading, mm -hmm. it, we would you'd go sort of in, in a different Tyler Henry mode. Exactly. It's kind of entering into an active daydream. And I just relay everything I feel. And my body is a bit like a canvas. And whatever comes through kind of paints the picture. So. And you're on tour as well. That's and right. so as part of that, do people get to experience that or what's that that like absolutely tours are immersive people get to see readings live and in person unedited we never know what's going to happen it's always really nerve-wracking but really beautiful to see no matter where we go across the country the stories and being a medium for storytelling and it's really beautiful how as isolating as grief can be to have a sense of community and you leave those events really feeling that when you went on your uh, cross-country tour for your show yes. uh, what was your maybe most memorable oh. You know, Stop. there were so many moments, but I remember uh, going back to the scene of the Montecito floods where a client of mine had lost her children and she had never gone back to where this event occurred. And on the show, we were able to revisit that spot with new eyes. You know, after our reading, she was able to have such a healing experience that she was able to go to that place of such darkness and sadness and really review it as a place of hope and, and memories that were positive. That must be so taxing on you, though. D don't you feel their emotional pain? Absolutely. It, right? Yeah. You know, I liken my job to that of a mailman in the sense that I don't write the letters. I just kind of deliver the message. But there is fundamentally a human component. I, I think I would be in trouble if I didn't get a little choked up <laughs> when I do these readings. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. With respect, the mailman isn't delivering letters from dead people. That's right. right. I mean, that's a whole different l level. How uh, do you relax? Are you able to separate from that or, or <laughs> is it always sort of on? To be honest, it's always on in some capacity or another, but it's more of like a volume dial in the sense that when I go about my day-to-day -day life, I kind of turn that volume dial down, but there's always kind of background noise. So it's always a process of trying to tune in and tune out and do it in a way where I can maintain some balance. How do you feel in this space before we uh, Ooh, promote over there? You? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just get pulled off. Well, if you grab me a, a notebook and some paper, okay, we might have a follow-up to do. Yeah. 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 But right. absolutely, there's a no, no, good, good energy in the space. Okay, <laughs> good energy. Yeah. We'll take it. Tyler's live tour, An Evening of Hope and Healing, returns to Southern California November 30th and December 1st at the City National Grove of Anaheim. Tickets are available at the TylerHenryMedium.com. There you go. All the information you need right yes. there. Congratulations Thank on you everything. So much. Appreciate it.